welcome back to another stream. Today we're checking out the, the friend. It's a modded slug cat. That uh, it takes place during the the Saints campaign. So if you have yet to play the Saints, there, there will be spoilers for their for their campaign. I would recommend staying away from Saint spoilers if possible. If you're ever going to play downpour yourself and of course like uh, most modded slug cats at the moment doesn't have its own campaign or story or ending stuff like that so there's not really any like goal at the moment so i'll actually i'll just get this started right now there's no goal but oh yeah i also have a another mod the input display from the bottom left you can see what which keeps on pressing. So my goal, I think it's going to be mostly to get all the passages. Because unlike the, the Saints, you can actually get um, like Outlaw and Outlaw and Hunter a lot easier. And it also means that we just get to explore the whole world as a different slug cat because movement is going to be very different. So the, the friend jumps very high, their normal jump, but their walking speed is actually very slow. This is just walking around. It's slower than the survivor, but if you crouch, suddenly you, you crawl very fast. So this is how we're going to be moving around, and vertically our normal jump. Also, I am the friend, so all lizards are totally passive. It doesn't mean that they're tamed, so they don't follow me around but they aren't going to hurt me. Uh, centipedes will. <laughs> so we're just going to... You know, we're just gonna... I think I'm gonna focus on getting echoes first. I don't know if getting echoes will break the game. Because, um... Of how the saint is. <laughs> the Liz Riz. Sure. Also for food, um, they can they can eat like normal food that the survivor can eat. I don't know about meat, like bat flies. If that's a bat fly over there. We can test this out. Oh, well. Maul, yes, they they also have the artificer mauling ability for some reason. So it looks like my scavenger reputation isn't good. They immediately tried to attack me. Also, it looks like I roll very fast. I'm just looking for food right now. I mean, I guess it makes sense since I'm uh, friends with the lizards. So then the scavengers don't like me because they don't like the lizards. But I, I do need to get the chieftain passage, so I'll have to fix that eventually. Alright, I guess this counts as food. Unlike Saints, I can actually fight stuff. Although that's quite a large centipede over there. Oh, that's just a regular. Let's see if I can fight this guy. And I missed. Okay. actually get full food from centipedes so I think they get a quarter food from most creatures but uh, centipedes don't really count since like survivor can eat them for some reason save for gourmand gourmand gets full food from centipedes also hello over on twitch Um, if I could, if I, well, actually, yeah, does that count as saving? <laughs> that scavenger? They didn't really hit the centipede. Alright, I guess that also works. As long as I'm able to escape. Also, there's those, like, dead, um, 
blue fruit over there, the like gray ones. I guess because it's, it'd be a little bit unbalanced. Considering that they can eat a lot more food than the saints, so if they have to get rid of some of the food yet. So they got oh I also need to get a lantern. There there is the cold still. I will have to worry about that, but not in the not in the undergrowth. Also aren't for shelter. Oh just a second. Okay. Yeah, let's head down to... I think this is enough karma. So those are normal. But they didn't give me anything. So those, those are basically not there at all. It's a little hard to, to move around sometimes with poles. So you, like when you try to like just stand up, but you end up grabbing a pole instead. Well, that actually did give a quarter. I, I want to press something here. Whoa, <laughs> that went a lot higher. So it seems like in some situations you jump a lot higher. Also, jumping immediately puts you into your crouching state. Unless you hold up. You see, you move quite slowly during this. So I guess that's actually to speed you up, because so you move faster in the crouching state, so the jumps actually go pretty far. Anyway, there's a drop wave somewhere here. I can just jump past them. I don't know what their underwater movement is like. Oh, they suck in the tunnel. Oh, I'm already, yeah, I already ate. Alright, let's be careful here. Watch out for scavengers for now at least. I should have. I probably should grab a pearl. Oh, I can't. I can't go that way. So it's actually areas like this that are quite difficult to navigate. These guys are actually, they are active right now. I'm gonna stay in the shelter just to get max karma. Oh, do I have, do I have a karma flyer? Yes, I do. Sometimes movement can be a bit strange. In rough terrain, you're kind of just flopping all over the place. Actually, I might have to activate Echoes. <coughs> oh, nice. Maybe it's just the same thing to have Echoes activated immediately. So let's head over to the Echo. Also, hold up. Let me check something real quick. That's a large spider. So it looks like there isn't an echo here. There's no effects. So this is stupid. Hello? This is a bit awkward. There's kind of a slope here. 
missing with my jump. There we go. Kind of weird going through this area without the echo effects. Ooh, hold up. How am I gonna go up here? I didn't think about that. Yeah, this area is kind of designed around Saints movement. Is that kelp? I didn't know there was a kelp there. Also, it looks like you're not able to do a high jump out of water. So I actually, I might be stuck in here. The platform here. We're good. But uh, I don't see any way to get up. Okay. Well, there's an alternate way to get there. You have to come in from the other side of Undergrowth. Just to activate the echo, so this might take a while. That's fine. We got some time. Yeah, this seems like the best way to move, just to kind of keep jumping. Also, I should grab a, a spear. I'm kind of used to at the Saint. And I keep, I keep comparing this to the Saint, but... Kind of how I feel, considering that it's the same campaign. But yeah, I'm not used to using or picking up spears at all. But they can fight just, just fine. Except for, I guess, the... Um, They don't want to fight lizards at all. Plenty of other creatures to worry about still. I actually do need food. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'll just grab this. I'm not exactly familiar with the layout of this region. So, I'm gonna pause. Is that a full play? Yes. Oh, am I gonna be able to? That's a bad side of I don't know if I'll be able to go up this way. This, this movement is kind of weird. Oh! Not any good. I mean, I'm I'm enjoying it so far. It's a very unique move set. Okay, this is just garbage waste. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go that way. It's very unique movement compared to like um, any other slug cat. Since it's not just like oh, I did not get anything. Three quarters. It's very easy to accidentally wall tap. But you know. Most most new flood cuts add some kind of movement ability on top of the base boost set. Like let's give it a double jump or a grapple hook or a yeah, some some kind of movement ability, but this changes the base movement stats in a very unique way by swapping your walking speed and your crawling speed. So it's faster to crawl around everywhere like this. And also um, they have a really high jump when they're standing up, kind of to make up for uh, Saint's ability to. There's a pull here because of how good Saint's movement is. Am I stuck here? I can't go up that way. Well, their movement doesn't make up for everything. They still kind of get stuck in some areas that the Saints would normally be able to access. not even a solid platform yeah I think we're stuck <laughs> so there are still a few problems like the the whole world needs some adjustments to account for the different movement so that area of the Saints would not have any problems moving through but I was not able to jump high enough yeah you're not late this might be a pretty long stream as well I'm going for all passages well, as many passages I can, as I can get. We'll see if I get stuck on any. 
this is actually a uh, one of the one of the new mods that I've actually been looking forward to a lot. So I'd like to I'd like to ex uh, like explore as much as possible, especially since it takes place in the Saints world. So I get to go through some regions that I haven't seen too often. Uh, I started in outskirts. That's a full thing. Oh, I could have grabbed that um that rock. Right, I could have hit that rock. It's, it's like that one long room where there's usually a red lizard as the, the hunter. That's where the this like got started. I just went down here to Grab the echo. Let's not die to that. What are you supposed to be? What is the slug cat? Uh, they, well, they're a slug cat, but they also, they seem kind of like more like a dog. Like the way their ears are kind of like flopping down. If I can be in a place that's not covered by plants. But yeah, see how its ears look. I have to get out, out of here. That's kind of close. The jungle leech got me. Yeah, some of their... They can't really jump out of water. I think that's something I'd like to see. They should be able to jump really high out of water. Maybe it doesn't really make sense. Oh, I can get hit by snails and not even... Not even care. That's wonderful. I guess I'm making a lot of com comparisons with the Saints just because they have the same campaign. And that, that could happen to some degree. They, they need to be able to move through the same kind of areas, but they're very different. And eventually they'll have their own campaign too. Um, this might be the right way. Oh, there's Sunny Beach. grab onto that pole. So I'll still have to get used to this movement. Is that a large centipede? Oh, actually it is. Oh yeah, lizards are have good reputation. They're the friend after all. So I think this might be the right way to go. To get back to the, the echo. Something interesting, if you do a if you do a high jump. You immediately go into the crouching state, but it actually makes you move faster. Other crouching speed is really fast. But if you hold up for too long, you'll go back into the upright state, and you'll move slower through there. A little large uh. speed. I've seen a lot of centipedes. So. actually quite a long tunnel here. Some of these are probably large enough to kill me. I got to that far. I don't think there's usually a tunnel here or a pipe. There it is. Um how do I Square outskirts room, yeah. I 
get out of here. There we go. Hmm. Well, that just goes back to where I was before. This was this much fucking granite. I mean, I could just go to the other side. Oh. That's not. Oh, I started crouching. I didn't expect it to speed up. Oh, that is how this character is. The jumps are quite high. You know what? I mean, when you say story, I think I think Rivia actually has the best story in terms of like characters. I mean, specifically the art or the iterators, not artificial. But like in terms of the world and like kind of like putting a end or like being a conclusion to the timeline, I think it's really good. I have no idea where I'm going. So many small centipedes. So this uh, blue lizard up here should be completely friendly. Look at that. Oh, I think maybe down this way. But I think there's water down here. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's a lizard. It just, it just wasn't, it just didn't want to hurt me at all. Can I even swim down this? No, I can't. Um, hmm. I'm going to check the map. I want to make sure that I'm not going in the wrong direction. Um, it's kind of confusing the way this map is laid out. Oh, I see something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You have to go very far. I kind of want to make a video putting slug cats in areas that they don't have access to normally. Like areas that wouldn't make sense for their timeline. Um, I'm dead. That was extra strong, because it was underwater. Um, for some reason I mauled that centipede, instead of eating it like normal. Unique guy like if you bring moon pearls from Metropolis. That's interesting, because usually only... You can only bring them to pebbles as artificer, right? Yeah, I did it again. Oh, yeah, I'm already full. Let's not let this red center peak catch it. Right fast.
But that grilling is actually very fast. <laughs> Don't wall jump very far. So I want to hold up. Let me give these guys a pearl. Do I even have a pearl? Or did I did I exit out when I did grab it? Yeah, I gave you a spear. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I think the scavenger threw something at me instead of the pulse knife. I didn't make the jump to the, the top platform that I wanted to. I'm losing karma now. I, I was always using karma, but I didn't have a flower this whole time. I just want to eat the centipedes, dude. Oh, actually, the echo might not be active because I'm not at max karma. So, be a little bit more careful. But actually, there's so many centipedes that I probably don't need to worry about food. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like, I mean, the the mod description kind of points out how it's like good at storing food for a long time. But that should, but it already has like lower than average food requirement. I'm just gonna get going. Kind of like reverse monk. Yeah, they are moving. Okay, somehow that worked out. Um, okay, they just went. That way. I like this pearl. Okay, we're safe. I'm gonna hold on to this rock for the pole plant. It's like oddly quiet right now. This is the wrong direction. Is it the wrong direction? This is the right direction. I mean, this there's definitely a different way I could have gone. But I think this will still work. I'm not seeing any scavengers here, surprisingly. Which of the red creatures do I prefer? Or what do I think is worse? Worse as in like more dangerous? Hmm. I think actually, I mean I did just die a bunch of the red centipede, but I think red lizards are actually worse. Because of their spit. Being able to, speaking of spit. But being able to like knock you off poles, even if you're like, in an area that you think would be safe. And red, red centipedes are actually surprisingly easy to avoid, despite the fact that I died for one multiple times. But I like, all you have to do is like keep moving and they, they usually struggle to grab you. Now we have some music. But if you want to kill one, I actually think that, oh, hello. I didn't even know there was one of those there. But I'm on. Okay. If you want to kill them, I think um, red lizards are a lot easier to kill. Because all it takes is like a few down spears. While for red centipedes, you have to remove all their armor. And even once you do, it takes forever to actually kill them. Oh, am I not going to go this? 
get up there. Kind of the way that I wanted to go. Oh, those, those are all... Okay, these leashes are a problem. That actually, that, throwing that rock actually helps a lot. I'm gonna get out of here. Just get rid of the leashes. for that in this room. I don't know what that guy's doing. Is that a hazer it's trying to get? Yeah. Dead hazer. Spore puffs, yeah, but the thing is that, I mean, outside of farm raids, you're not going to have access to spore puffs. So if you're in spore, if you're in farm raids, or if you're playing Gourmand, as Gourmand, it's definitely easier to deal with than centipedes. Because it's super easy to make them. Spore puff, it's just a mushroom and a mushroom and a rock. And also Gormand really struggles if they're at low stamina and you're fighting a lizard. I read lizard specifically. But that's always the case with Gormand. Well I think I usually consider King Vulture as like the red the red vulture variant. Because they only show up in as the hunter. Not only anymore, but they were a hunter exclusive creature. Maybe I should. Well, I can't even dump that out of There goes all the food that I ate. I don't think I can. I might be able to make this jump. The next jump in the next room. I might be able to make it without any leeches on me. I don't really know how to remove these guys. And I also don't want to go activate the stowaway again. Is they all gone? Okay, it is possible. And there's a spear. That's nice. This is a dead end. Okay, actually, there's another. I see another pole. It's not over yet. See a pole over here. Yeah, okay, that was way easier. And this one actually goes somewhere. He made it out of there. Oh, it's snowing. Uh, it's not really that much of a problem, though. Not yet. Go down here. I have a pearl. This is a toll. Yes. Oh, I've never seen this part of Undergrowth before. Are these stuff all planted here? Yep. Can't get the spear back. And this is all just to activate the echo. <laughs> I don't even have enough karma. Oh, this is this is this room. I have to go through it the same way. It's been quite dark. Maybe that's just how this area is. It's very close. Can't play the mod because Remix is broken. I had a problem with Remix for a long time. If you have any mods for Rain World before Downpour, if you got any mods in the past, uh, make sure you like delete those folders. Okay, that did work. Can I get out of this room? Because for some reason, having those those files uh, prevented the mods from working. At least for me, that it might you might have a completely different problem. What you, you people usually say to fix that kind of stuff. is like um disable every single mod in your remix menu and then one by one enable a mod
enable a mod um, with, in the remix settings, and then restart the game. And do that, like, do that for every mod that you have in installed. <laughs> Just go through each of them one by one. See if it's even possible to make it out of here. So now I have, well actually I don't need to make it to a shelter. Once you activate an echo, it's permanently active. Oh, that's uh, that's not good. Okay, I might be able to make it to that to, to that spear in the wall. So far, I've been I've been stuck in a few areas. This is one of those regions that's designed for the saint, and uh, I'm not exactly able to do some of it. But that also works. Hopefully I can make it past the, the scavenger pool, and I'll be fine with it. How do you get mods on Steam? If you just go to the, the Steam Workshop, you can subscribe to mods there. It looks like they don't mind. And then you need to enable them in the remix in the remix settings. Okay, now I have to go all the way back through this. I do need food again, since the leashes took everything. But I actually don't. I only need two. That's a drop. They let you pass tolls for an entire cycle if you pay them once. That's good to know. Um, okay, the so wait, hello notification. That was my notification. I see some people play with like 20 mods enabled. Just like went through the workshop and got everything that looked slightly interesting. Please don't. I can keep this. I don't. I don't really get that. Like, I feel like the moment you add like that many mods, it kind of like that loses the experience. I actually went quite far. It's a very long cycle. I know that if you stay in a cycle for for too long, eventually just like you just pass out anyway, regardless of your temperature. Maybe that doesn't happen in undergrowth. Actually, no, I have seen it happen in undergrowth. I mean, I wouldn't even recommend getting like quality of life mods because you don't even know if you want them yet. If like if you've already played the game a lot and there's some if there's something that you really dislike and you want to fix with a mod, that's great. Like, go ahead, you can get a quality of life mod. But if I attack this, I'm definitely dead. <laughs> but you need you you should already like play the game to get an idea of what things you'd want to change with mods. Anyway, that shelter is now no longer usable. But eventually these mods are going to get more fleshed out and feel more like the downpour slug cats. With like their own campaign and story and whatever. That's just a lot of effort to put in, and uh, it takes a long time, so you're not going to see that for a while. Okay, 
guess they're just gonna gonna be like this for a while. If you get the DLC, yeah, it's on Steam. Just like on the the store page for Rain World. Should have a You'll see somewhere if you scroll down. Punch the annoying roommate, that spider. I've I've had an experience with a spider like that before as a spear master. The the green spiders are like totally a trap. If you try to stab them, you just get attacked by like a bunch of photoscopies. While jumping is very slow. Oh, okay. Just, like, drag me through the wall. <laughs> Leave with that thing. Doesn't seem very, very comfortable. I mean, I was, I was holding onto a spear. I could have stabbed that monster kelp. But, decided to just drag me through the floor. Um, well, you can still kill the little spiders with like a rock or a spear. It's just that they're so small that it's hard to hit them. They're usually very spread out, so you only hit like a handful at a time. So there's still enough left to... Okay, that, that's better. Anyway, red centipede zone. Oh, so spore puffs work. Although they aren't really in the same areas where you find spore puff. Now I have to try to avoid this red centipede. Not too bad. It doesn't have enough time to catch up with me. What's my karma at? Okay, I'll need to do this for another cycle before I can go see the echo. And then we can finally get out of this region. I didn't think it'd be this bad, but I guess that's gonna be that's how it's gonna be. For the in the regions specifically designed for with Saint in mind. I find actually rocks do help. If you're like, for example, if you're going through the bottom area, the bottom through, through shaded, if you just have a handful of rocks and you just throw them as much as possible, I find that that usually is pretty good at getting rid of most of them. And at least it'll break up the, the big chunks of the spiders, the big coalescopedes. Also, I just noticed there's a cycle timer. Is that always there? There usually isn't one for the saint. Because of the, the way the snow works. You can kind of stay in cycles forever. Maybe that's just how long until, like, the... Like, it's really intense. Anyway, let's see if we can make it all the way back over to that echo. mistake of killing a mother spider in a shelter yeah don't do that either honestly don't ever kill mother spiders unless they're like way behind you and you, you're not going to return to that area uh, but especially in like oh no scavenger why did i do that can i still make it out of here actually maybe That's the that's a stowaway. Okay, now I fell and even falling even further down. There's a lot more stowaways in this region than I thought there were. I mean, I know that there were a lot of them. Okay, hold up. It's actually um, using wall wall jump storage is actually like not good because your wall jump is not nearly as high as your regular jump. This could work. I might be able to get out of here. Also, they're really fighting up there. It's just so close, like I'm almost able to just climb up. Well, okay. Actually, this just goes over to garbage, doesn't it? Ah. 
Well, you know what? I'll try to keep going. I would rather keep my karma high. Oh, but this pipe isn't here normally. Unless it is. I don't know. It's not even a secret like, entrance. Uh, but I might have to just restart this cycle. Yeah, I got stuck here last time. I wasn't able to get out. Okay, 10th gate. Armor back up again. Maybe I should have tried to increase my karma before going down here, but uh... I was already in outskirts, so I thought this would be the best place to start. That's Survivor. Survivor looking saint. I suppose. They kind of look the same because they share the same campaign. Or not the same campaign, the same like, world. It's like all snowy. So they've adapted to the cold. I should eat food. Uh, no, never mind. I'm good, actually. I'm not going to try to ascend. The, if you try to get an ending, it totally breaks down. Just because there isn't an ending for the Slugcat. And especially since the, the Saints ending is super weird, so... Imagine that an extra breakdown. Okay, we're good. I'm... Uh, the goal is to get all the passages. So right now I'm working towards the, the Pilgrim, getting all the echoes. Hello. But, you know, that, that means a lot of other things too. Like I have to go to every region. I have to befriend the scavengers. I have to kill a bunch of things and then not kill a bunch of things. I also need the survivor. That's kind of an important one. Oh, don't grab that full plane down there. I'm gonna need survivor. The movement's very interesting since you keep switching back and forth between crawling and. Excuse me. Crawling and, like. Standing upright to jump higher. I didn't think there's so many spiders in this area. I'm so used to how it is. That's the rivulet. Hello, dropper. Didn't even think I could do that, huh? Oh, thought uh, there's no pull there. Well, it's uh, time to get karma again. Padded adapting to the cold. I mean, they also like know to, to like take advantage of lanterns, just that they don't know how to, how to make them. But you don't see any other creatures carrying around lanterns. Also, the the um, was this the survivor? The other so I guess that you're referring to, like the rivulet and artificer, or infinite spears. So like water breathing. I don't know if Rivita is like a an evolved slugcat. It kind of makes sense that a, a slugcat would evolve to adapt to like the the, the floods. No, please don't. Like, oh, there's a lot of flooding, so they are they have water breathing, right? Oh, of course. 
course, of course that happened. Uh, but the, and I don't know anything about the artificer, but the spear master was definitely a purpose organism. They, they didn't just evolve like explosive jumps or wait, did, am I totally mixing things up? Spear master. Also, there's an explanation for artificers explosions. It's like some kind of bacteria in the garbage waste. But um, Spearmaster was a purpose organism that could create spears and whatnot. Just to be a, a, or a messenger that could survive. Survive the trip to Pebbles. Reaver is really a mystery. Gourmand is kind of weird too. But they're not, they're not too, I mean, they can like craft stuff. Crafting is definitely the most bizarre thing they can do, like being able to create um, fire eggs. Okay, let's try not to die. And uh, Sank is like especially weird. They, they're a lot more than just like adapted to the cold. They seem like kind of very purposely designed. Artificial drink with spicy water. Not just fall down for a death. How did they miss that? I was right above. You. Uh oh, I might be dead. That rock was very lucky. Hey, music again. Terry is like surprisingly quiet when there's not music playing. able to get past the stowaway. Is that a... That's a scavenger. <laughs> really didn't know what that was, but it's just the scavenger peeking out of the tunnel. For some reason, it's... He's just chilling there. I really want to stay behind this wall so that he doesn't just stab me with the spear, but... I also need to get these leeches off. Also, yeah, so Rivulet has a pearl that's basically a map to the, the like, the energy rail where the, the rare faction cell is. That's what Moon says. Like, it's a, it's a skim. Press the schematic of an iterator superstructure. And also being, having, like, water breathing and stuff would be, would make sense if their goal was also to go through submerged superstructure, right? Leeches ever get off. Okay, just this one. If I can't land in the water at all, also please don't stab me. I don't even think he has a spear. Yeah, I really need to work on the reputation. Oh, well, this is totally fine. Yeah, also, Pebbles just happens to be fine with. All the leeches again. Pebbles just happens to be fine with giving the cell to me. So it'd be strange if, like, another iterator was aware of that. And, like, knew to create a slug cat that would be good at creating a cell, or grabbing the cell from Pebbles and bringing it all the way over to me. Can I? Hold up, I can use this snail. Get rid of the leeches. Actually, that's a good idea. Hello, leeches. 
don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Snails are like the strongest weapon against leeches. Uh, one of the developer commentary, it talks about the rivulet and how they kind of just like, kind of just do their own thing. Like how, like, doing the whole, oh, I need a pearl. But doing the whole thing with the rare faction cell is just kind of like another day for Rivulets. And the fact that they already have the market communication suggests that they've been to an iterator before. I'm not gonna find another pearl. Hello. Jungle, I, honestly, jungle leeches aren't that bad. I mean, like, blue leeches are... have a much easier time killing you. You only need, like, three of them latched onto you to drown you. Can you guys wait? That's not even a spear. That's just a plant. Always nice knowing you all. Well, okay, I need to I need to get a pearl somewhere. This is the hardest echo I've ever tried to get. Except for maybe the one in chimney as artificer without a karma flower. That was fun. Then activate the stowaway. So I already took that pearl. Respect all the creatures except spitter spiders. I said it beats kind of struggle to grab onto you if you're moving. They always kind of lag behind a little bit. I don't even know if there's a, like a, if there's any other pearls. There might be a pearl. Oh, hello. Other large centipede. Not a red though. And various other centipedes. Okay. Of course, I dropped down right then. I'm never getting this echo. How about, you know, the goal for this stream? Get this echo. That's the, that's the one thing that I'll try to get done. Now I have this music playing. Taking control of a red centipede in safari mode, you'll know how fast that they can move. Oh, I missed that somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to farm karma again. This is going great. Is this what other people's experience with the saints is like? Yeah, at least we have nice music playing. The only problem is that I, I didn't have a pearl for the scavenger.
If I look down here. Actually, hold up. Hello, scavenger merchant. Thanks for taking that karma flower. I would have really liked to have that. Oh, is this just a dead end? No, no, it keeps going. If I can get that karma flower, it'd help a lot. But that's also, that would also cost a pearl, which I'd rather use on the toll. Oh, I'm stuck here, aren't I? They have the platform above. You can't jump out of water very high. Oh, hold up. That's pro, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, you know what? Here's the plan. Maybe I'm comparing the ambience of this area to to outer expanse. That's why it feels quiet. Okay. Hello. I just need to find where the pearl went. If I could shelter, oh, here it is. Is this the same pearl that I gave him? Okay, we have a pearl now. Not very friend of you. Look, maybe the reputation actually went up because I gave him a pearl and not and no other scavengers saw that. I'm trying to get the sky on Zeko for the first time. Alright, that could be a bit rough because it's it's right next to the room with a ton of lizards in. Various other creatures. I really want to find a rock before I. Okay, here's a spear. That's good. Now, I did want to keep stabbing it, but. So we just keep going. Am I going to ascend? I don't think... I think if I did, the game would crash. This slow cut does not have an ending yet. My goal is to get all passages. That's why I need to get the echoes. There's a passage for that. Okay. Pearl? I mean, I, mean, I need more karma. But I have a karma flower. That'll help a lot. Stuck in Rubicon. I did get stuck in Rubicon for like two hours or longer, I don't really remember. Tried to ascend and fell to your death. The area that you normally fall down to Rubicon that just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I won't be getting any endings. I don't even know if I'll be able to go to the iterators. I mean, unlike Spear Master, there isn't a... Like, something that happens, they just talk to you, right? So maybe they're just gonna give me, like, default dialogue. It'd be kind of funny if I went to Pebbles and he just... Said the normal thing he says to Survivor. He'll probably just say the same dialogue as in... As the, the Saints campaign. It's a completely different area. But the last, one of the last modded slug guys I played when I went to moon, the game crashed. 
but Pebbles was fine. We'll just have to see what happens, but I don't imagine there's anything unique yet. There will be eventually. Just give the mod developers some time. Did they talk to you like that you already met them? That could also be the case. Although that, I think that, I feel like that's more unique to expeditions and how those are set up when you start them. Because this is still its own campaign. Alright, let's see if we can actually get the echo. I just will get music to play again by taking this route. Maybe I should swallow this pearl. Thank you. Okay. I know that they would try to revive the other spider instead of attacking me. But they, they might have still attacked. Here. Um, let's just go around. Okay, well, they can look that way. That was quite effective. Anyway, there should be a spitter spider. Oh, you just have to be right there, huh? I don't have a spear. I guess I could have mauled them. I do have that ability. Here's the spear. Well, let's just keep going. No spitter spider yet. There they are. I look out. Pretty well, actually. I think spitter spiders are just a lot easier to deal with because they only take one spear to kill. Like, once, if you dodge the. And they only have a, well, they have the, their spit attack, but it, it only stuns you, so you just, if you just ignore that, even if they hit you, you just immediately try to kill them. Before you get stunned. Anyway, actually, I should grab the, the snail. As long as the eel doesn't get it first. Or I don't get grabbed at the stowaway. This isn't food for you, by the way. You can't even eat snails. They just pop. Okay, that didn't really get rid of the leeches on me. Where'd that snail go? It's all the way at the bottom. Maybe I can try to go grab it, but that also kind of risks getting kind of stuck from the leeches. I don't know why they had to put like 200 leeches in a single room. Okay, well, I didn't. Oh, I grabbed it. Alright, that's good. And I have a pro this time. All of this for a single echo that I could have reached if I just had a slightly higher jump. Or a, a, a very long tongue to use to grapple onto things. That's ridiculous. Why would I have that? Hello, guys. I'm back. Um, let's not grab onto those. <laughs> uh, 
And now the music is playing. Hold up. I'm gonna retry that. So I don't drown. <laughs> may or may not have committed murder. Okay, this full. Yeah, there's it's pretty hard to get the pearl. Hello. And I can't even talk to you. <laughs> I don't have the mark yet. I guess I'm not gonna get the mark the whole time. There's no way for me to get it. That's good. You get karma. And I also get to keep the pearl. Maybe I'll head down to the merchant. If they're not mad at me. But also, since I'm already at max karma, I might as well go to go through the gutter so you can finally get out of this place and it should be a lot easier for a while since we'll be actually be able to, to move around in areas that are designed for normal movement stream gold success yeah yeah might as well just end the stream now I'm already done already did the hardest thing going on. It actually managed to get one of those. Might as well grab the bitter airy echo. Um, I don't think I can get that. Actually, I probably can. If there are bubble weed, at least. That was quite hard to get, even with the Saints uh, ability. Um, I will shelter here. I will not be getting. I will not be going through super 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 structure. Also, let's check uh, passages. I haven't seen these. Wander. I think I have a little bit of chiefs in progress. Nomad. Actually, I should try to get Nomad. If I can get... Uh, where am I going anyway? You can't descend echoes. They are completely unaffected. I'm going to be taking the route that I normally take with Rivulet, so I might not be used to like moving to some areas. Although this, this area is pretty easy to navigate regardless of which slug cut you are. Although you're not very good at swimming. Climb poles very quickly. Probably the fastest slug cat at climbing poles, since you can you have a like a higher pole climb speed plus you can fast pole climb on like Ruby Lit. Oh hello. Actually, I don't have to be scared of you. We're already friends. I do need to tame a lizard at some point, although it shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, they're like already sort of ascended. These lizards are such a pain to deal with as the rivulet. When I'm trying to. I'm going for the speedrun route. Oh, yeah, I can just jump off this. Oh, the snow, too. I really need to get a uh, lantern.
probably just make this jump. No. Well, maybe. Um, that's that's not what I meant. <laughs> Somehow I've died to that twice. I go into these regions, I'm going to be finding a lot more just regular lizards. So it's actually going to be a lot, a lot calmer, less things that are actually dangerous. You can almost make that jump. Okay, that's a, that was just RNG, <laughs> dying instantly to that. They didn't even like grab onto me. Also, I missed the first, the first rock throw. Because there's only five people watching. Yes, if you're if you're referring to the chat, of course the um, the larger an audience, the larger the audience, the more chaotic the chat will be. If there's less people, you actually have time to write out a like a full message instead of just like a handful of words that someone can actually read in the short time that the message is on screen. If you type that like a whole paragraph in a very active chat, it would be gone in like two seconds and no one would be able to read it. I try, okay, let's not die to this spider again. Okay. I try to read all of your messages, even if I don't reply to them. I've died to a, situa a situation just like this. But it's not really that bad as, as the friend. It's very unique. It's the, uh, like a type of creature that you just don't have to worry about at all. Okay, let's not fall off this. Where am I even going? Honestly, I don't even know if I should have gone to the chimney. <laughs> because where do I want to go? Um, let's not uh, let's not fall there either. Either to like to pebbles or moon. Um, hmm. I guess let's take the um, let's go down. Maybe I should have taken the other route through gutter. That's just the one that I'm used to. Also, I can still do extended slides. Yeah, let's just go down and head down to industrial and shaded. Come on, food. I need to eat. Shit. 
Chimney Echo. I forgot about Chimney Echo. Let's actually get that first. Thank you for mentioning that. And a neuron. Yeah, there's no neurons. I mean, I guess there's a moon, but I'll just get a lantern. I need the warmth anyway. Like, I'm pretty cold right now. Luckily, the friend is very fast vertically. Not as fast as the saint in some situations, but you can climb poles very quickly. And you can jump really high. Hopefully the fruit in this room are still... Uh, they are not. Hmm. So I'll grab this one. Can't go that way. Fruit that you very, very rarely grab. Let's not fall all the way down there. Uh, maybe if there's bat flies. I might not have enough food. Also, hold up. There's a... Um, if I already have a pearl. It looks like it. I hope there's food somewhere here. That's not food. That's a friend. That's also a vulture. I guess it's a popcorn plant. I, no, there isn't. That does not exist anymore. <laughs> huh. Well, I'll have to go down again. Actually, I guess I can just stay in the, the shelter. That I don't usually stay in. No, it was just because that one fruit was dead or something. Here's some food. Although I won't get much from this. Actually, I will. There's centipedes. Oh, sorry about that. But yeah, that, that's something that the mod adds, actually. I'm gonna grab these. Well, maybe the mod doesn't add it, but I've never seen it. roll so fast. Rolling speed is actually probably based on your crawling speed. Which is why the rivulet climbs so slowly, or rolls so slowly compared to their their like walking and running speed. Because those are the same thing. There's not really a separate thing for running. What does the cycle timer look like? So this is like a few, like one pit before it, like it's a full on blizzard. It's interesting to see that. You usually don't, you can't even see the time lapse of the cycle because that's the same. Yeah, the, the Gormon can roll pretty far, but it's actually not like that much faster. It's probably faster situations where it's like uneven terrain and you can't like walk across it easily or do slides and stuff like that. But if it's uneven terrain, then it, uh, doing rolls is good. But also the, the roll pounce is very short. Seems like doing that is a lot faster. I guess I'll try to go for outlaw, since I'm already killing everything. Can I make this jump? Almost. Well, I can make this jump anyway. No, I can't. <laughs> Isn't the Gourmand inning just getting out of that place? What do you mean? Getting out of that place. Like out of Outer Expanse?
Yeah, Gourmand was like scouting out all like the available food in the so that they could like move on because the slug cats are nomadic. They move around a lot depending on wherever there's a lot of food. That's what the Gourmand tells them, which is kind of funny since if you go to Pebbles, he tells you to get out of his his facility grounds, but then the Gourmand just brings all the slug cats into it. I mean, that's where I'm. We're assuming that's where we go because that's where he scattered out all the where all the food is, right? scavenger. Ah, come on, I missed that. It's the wrong direction. And again. And I'm dead. If you want to help me out, scavengers. Or lizard. Or <laughs> Nothing. And I assume Gourmand is also the reason why you find Plug Pups in the other campaigns. Because those are kind of like abandoned or lost from the main group of Slug Cats. Although there's a lot more Slug Pups than... Because like all the Slug, or the slug Cats that we see, there's like a handful of them. And like the, the cutscenes. I mean, there's a whole lot of them in the Outer Expanse ending. Like, before it goes to the cutscene, you'll actually see, like, a, a lot of slug cuts. Not the slug cats live in families. Yeah, I guess that's the, the assumption you can make from the survivors opening. How they're kind of like with their family. I mean, it, it might maybe they like travel or like kind of stick together as families, but as a whole, they like stick together in a big group of like multiple families combined. I'm already good on food, right? Yeah, let's head down to Shaded. Hopefully I can get a lantern at some point if I want this spear. Thank you for, for reputation. Hey, don't hit me now. What was that? Oh, hold up. Don't hit me. Oh, he has a spear. I'm the friend, guys. Supposed to be your friend. Okay, that was a spear. Um, you know what? I don't want to risk dealing with more scavengers. Let's just shelter now. Oh, 
Honestly, the way that I tell pull plants is their color. Because I think every single pull plant shares the same color, while other normal pulls are based on like the, the region's palette. So sometimes you'll notice that the pull plants are a lot more like red than, than regular pulls. But at some point you kind of just memorize where all the pull plants are. You don't have to like recognize them. You just you just know which ones are pull plants or not. It's completely consistent. I guess from here we'll head over to Pebbles. But honestly, if you ever just want to be safe, you can just throw a rock and you'll immediately know. Yeah, I should probably be rolling more often. These open areas, it's very fast. Yeah, I can get outlawed too. That, that plant protected them. That's not safe either. Maybe I could get um a friend here, as in the passage. If I could find a a lizard to feed. The shelter right here that would be good for that. I don't know if there's any lizards in this area though. Okay, that totally missed. Uh -huh. I'll get friends later. Just head up to Pebbles now. Can't leave to eat them. I'm not gonna get like half a pet from these. Yeah. I only get quarter of the food. I can just eat these like slime balls. Like sure where the ground is there. It's kind of a blind jump. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone this way. I think I could just. I can't make it all the way. Well, maybe. It's been a while since I've taken this route, so I'm not exactly sure where. Oh. I can't take this route. I actually just can't reach that. Maybe with like a spear. Actually, maybe with, well, I don't know. Let's just go the other way, because I know that there's another route to go that's perfectly fine. Does this go down? No, I think that's just death. Now it's kind of getting colder. The death pit, yes. I think it was down here, maybe. This is kind of where all the spiders are, although not nearly as much in this area. Also, damagers, if you like a karma fire. 
Also, I kind of just realized it's so clever that scavengers like karma flowers. Especially considering that they do have karma. We know that from the Artificers campaign. So they, they value karma flowers because they, they also want to maintain their karma. The same reason that we value karma flowers. Can I make the okay that was our that already looked too close. Maybe if I just hit use a spear. Okay, well I think that can still work. And I will stay in this shelter. Chieftain progress. Also, I'm definitely not gonna get the Nomad. Unless I manage to get all the way to shoreline in a single cycle. I also realize that the route that I normally take to get the pebbles is definitely not gonna work since it relies on the Saint's uh, tongue. So I don't know if there's an alternate way to get the pebbles without that. I think there's a red centipede in this room. Yep, definitely sounds like it. Okay, I, I realize now that you said that you hate that. And I honestly, I agree. Like, this is pebbles. I mean, I'm, this is like pebbles already. And all of it's like completely destroyed. There's a lot of spiders. Why do none of you guys have plants? Did you just throw a spear? <laughs> I think I have a little bit of chief in progress and they're still throwing stuff at me. That's just how scavengers are. Okay, I didn't want to fall down here. Am I stuck? No, no, no I can jump out of this. This shelter, um, yeah, this is pretty much the closest one to the Echo, other than the one in the lake. <laughs> kind of just there's... There's a, there's a bunch of, a bunch of stuff that happened. The, it's complicated. And we're back down. Well, at least the spear is still there. I don't even know if I can make that jump. Actually, I can just go above. Yeah. Not that far above. Not that far above either. This might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. They really just said, yeah, the saints can just do whatever you want. Let's just, like, just do whatever here. Maybe I can... Hmm. There we go. The Rainworld community is good at that. Yeah, that's how it is. The 
There should be Meredith's birds here. Yep, here they are. I guess I'll see if I can get the pebbles. It's probably the same as like normal dialogue. But you know, might as well do that for like completion's sake. Can I even make it up there? Probably with a Weird throw. I didn't want to throw it down there. There we go. But uh, from here, there's this pole. I don't think that goes anywhere. I need to get political. Are you just talking about the... Oh, hold up. Did I grab onto something there? I might just, like, hit the top of the platform. The moment I start holding up, I slow down because I go up into the, the standing up state. I think I'm just kind of bogging my head on the top of the platform. Oh, unless it's a little lower than I think it is. And even from that point, there's another area that's very hard to make it up. Even with the, the sand scrapple. Actually, I think if I had a spear, I could do that. I'd like to use that other spear. Oh, here's one. This might be possible. Progress. Just really missed that actually. There we go. <laughs> this isn't even very helpful since. Oh. I didn't even know I had a spear. That would have actually been more a lot more helpful. I can still maul it. So. Okay, it actually got hit. I don't think it's dead. <laughs> what do you mean you can't get up there? We tried slide canceling into a roll. Throw boost jump. And <laughs> dev tools, yeah, obviously you can make it with dev tools. I don't even think it's possible. Well, I, everything is possible. It's kind of dead. Oh, he's not dead. Did I, did I get hit? There's, there's so many red spiders. I think they're both in, in this room now. The thing is that a lot of movement tech actually doesn't work as well as this character. Like, if you do a backflip, for example, it's a lot shorter than even your regular jump. Unless there's something you can do with, like, jump storage that helps somehow. I'll have to try that out. But I, I think it immediately get cancelled with a normal jump. We could do that. That might be possible with the spear, but even even if I do that, it just leads to the area that you need to, to grapple to get up anyway. So I'll head down here and try to avoid the spiders. Is this a way? Are all these dead ends? They are. I thought it was actually just like one continuous tunnel. 
don't see any spiders though, other than that one, of course. I think I just keep going down this way, but. Oh, I'm underwater, so I can't jump as high. But it's dead now. There's still this other spider. Hopefully, these lizards will distract me. I'd rather kill this spider before it revives me. Am I dead? Wow, okay. I wasn't I wasn't worried about dying as much as it reviving the red spider, but you know what? Maybe I should just go grab the echo before I die like 20 times. That's not how I made that jump. There we go. Yeah, I think the actually no, the, the cycle timer is a property of the saints themselves. It's not related to their campaign. If you play as the saints in another campaign, then you won't see the timer, even if there's normal rain. So since uh, this isn't based on the saints directly, I can still see the timer like normal. Moving around in these kind of areas is a bit awkward. Seems best to just kind of spam jump in. Try not to wall pounce on accident. This rolling would also be good. Yeah, the timer just tells you when it's going to start snowing really heavily. I saw earlier, it was like kind of light or like medium heavy snow. I don't know if there's any good, better terms for that, but like right, like a few pips before the end of the cycle. So I guess we'll try to go this way again, back through the spider zone. Spider-verse, uh-huh. And they're already here. Is that like three of them? Okay, I'm somehow still alive though. Yeah, that was three spiders. But I don't I don't see any red spiders yet. Oh, I better grab the karma flower. Better grab the karma flower. Okay, come on. I was holding another item, so I, I didn't realize that I couldn't pick it up. And then RNG insta-kill. Did I say I should get the echo first? Maybe I'll do that. It's an unfortunate development. I don't I don't think the, the karma flower will respawn. I'm still high enough to get the, the echo to activate, and there's a shelter pretty close to that area, although I think there's still spiders over there. In the lake. I mean, there's normally spiders there anyway. Actually, there aren't. Usually there's there's daddy long legs in the lake. That's how it is for the rivulet, and then I guess they get replaced by spiders once they all die out. So it just goes back to normal, because that's the spear master discipline. A lot of spiders. I was kind of worried about that lizard falling down, but this is, the lizards are chill. I am kind of bothered by how slow they swim. Maybe your swimming speed is... Well, actually, I think swimming speed is its own variable. It's not really tied to anything else, and it just happens to be pretty bad for this slug cat. And I guess you can do this, but it, it still feels pretty slow compared to their... The rest of their movement being relatively fast. Can I even make it out of here? Yes. Can I make this jump? I mean, the hole there. So, yes. That's pretty good timing for that, lizard to, or that spider to go through.
it's like surprisingly quiet in this area. Like no ambience at all. Oh, I guess here's another karma flower, so it's not too bad. Actually, there's enough food here. Actually, it might be random whether these give any food at all. Yeah, that didn't give anything, and that's a... Oh, of course, you have to go into the shelter. Also, I should activate the echo before I shelter. I guess that affected the rest of the food since these give a quarter or three quarters. Silent construct, I, I suppose you're correct. I have enough food to just shelter again anyway. And even more if I run into spiders or food or something. Oh, they're just gonna get revived immediately. Does anyone know, can spiders revive each other after being ascended by the saint? Cause I have a feeling that they might be able to. Yes, actually. Yeah, I think that the ascension as a saint actually just counts as regular, just like killing them. Oh, there's a popcorn plant up here anyway. Unless they're like, because I think even if they get revived, oh yeah, they just get activated. Even if the spider like revives another one, they're only alive temporarily. Like they don't, they're not back to normal. Like after a while, they just die normally. So maybe, maybe it's more like like a like a zombie like they're not actually alive but they're still moving around like whatever like leftover chemical energy is left inside the inside their body it kind of just like gets used up okay i could have eaten that spider actually i think i'm still yeah, it's not gonna close no way <laughs> i tried to get out of there oh now there's another spider in here that's wonderful Oh, they're both gone. It'd be cool if the things you send didn't respawn. Yeah, I actually tested that. I spent a few cycles in outskirts just ascending everything and they do just respawn normally. So it isn't even like, close to ascension at all, even if that's what it's called. But it, it that is true for the, for the iterators. If you ascend them, and even if you like exit out or die, they stay ascended. So it's permanent for the iterators, but not for the normal creatures. And I imagine that's just a, like a technical restraint. Like they, if it was easy to do that, they would have done it. Although there was a bug where if a creature went back to its den while it was injured, it would never come out again, even in future cycles. So they would just have to recreate that, whatever happened in that bug. And it would count as an ascension. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to add. It's pretty much just like lineaging, but instead of lineaging into another creature, it just lineages into an empty, an empty den. Although maybe there's more complications with how the, how like dens or like creature dens work and like creature spawns in general. Did I just eat that spider alive? Hello? Anyway, let's see if we can get the pebbles again. This time with a little bit more karma.
Hello, Mirror Spirit. Oh yeah, the the void sea everything it's some kind of like vision. It doesn't really make sense like then survivors ending. I don't think it makes sense if like every single other slug cat and their family like made it their way to the void sea. And I suppose it's not impossible, but especially considering that the main way that the survivor ascends is through five pebbles, he would be a lot more annoyed if every single slug cat showed up to get the mark. I guess there's also echoes, right? So I think it's I think it's more of like an, a vision thing, like reuniting with their family was the thing that the survivor desired the most. So it is what they got when they got into the void. See, although that kind of goes against how echoes work, right? If uh, if a creature has a strong like worldly desire, then it prevents them from ascending. to the Spider-Verse. If there wasn't a little bit of water here, I would actually be able to jump out. Damn, I'm gonna be able to jump there. Although, this doesn't get me anywhere. This does, though. What is even happening? I'd like to save that lizard. They are my friend, after all. Unless the lizard has gotten them. You know what, let's just, let's just get out of here before it gets any worse. I might have tamed that lizard, actually, if it's still alive. Hey, lizard, you want some food? Still able to jump pretty high with them. Oh, that looks injured. Hey, eat this lizard. Or, eat this spider. You, you are a lizard. Oh, now they're all gonna get revived. Well, I'm leaving this area anyway. Oh, I can't make it that. This water is making you just... So I can't, I can barely can't make these jumps. No matter how you spin the void, the saint complicates it. Yeah, it's all the same place. Oh, and the lizard is dead again. I think I'm obligated to try to save this lizard. Although it looks like they're just... No, they're, they're alive. Lizard is still alive. Although injured. Now they're gonna revive each other again. This is the true never ending cycle. Spiders will always be after you. That doesn't go anywhere either. Well, you guys are writing a, a whole essay in the in the chat. I don't even know which way I'm going. Hopefully this like brings me to the path of the pebbles. Oh, okay. So Saint, you're suggesting that the Saint is like true ascension. And the the void sea is kind of like this fake ascension that is like a method for the for like the, the void worms to feed on things <laughs> that is kind of what one echo talks about how like i think i'm just going back down yeah we're just over here hey um 
Is this actually a? No, that's just the Saint unlock. Not not for this guy. I do need food. Yeah, the the void is like some kind of way for the the void worms to feed on civilizations, perhaps. Like all of the ancients. And the and they they did something to the saint because they didn't want the saint to be the true way to ascend. Although, yeah, I'm just back here. <laughs> that doesn't really help me at all. Honestly, I feel like they... Well, I guess there's no, like, correct ending. But I I, pref I would have preferred the idea of, like, the, the saint being the triple affirmative that Silver of Straw created. Oh, can I even get up there? Maybe with a spear. But I like the idea that the saint was the triple affirmative, right? And they were just traveling to the other iterators to send them all. Oh, I can just go up here. But then, like, the whole, like, cycle thing with, with like, Rubicon and, like, being stuck forever, that, like, doesn't really fit with that. Why are you here? And also, I think, like, one of the developers confirmed that, um, the Saint was born after Sliver of Straw's triple affirmative, so, like, that theory completely falls apart. You know, I feel like it would have been a better conclusion that like this this look at is, is like the most important thing for the lore as the triple affirmative and it also kind of oh, okay. it also kind of give an answer of what the triple affirmative was because we we still don't have an answer for what exactly sliver did i guess that's kind of the point that it's a mystery there's no way i'm gonna be able to make it up there it is also now very cold Can I make it up that? Actually, yeah. Bye, scavenger. And there's a shelter there. Although, I don't even know where, where I'm going. I don't think there's any way for me to get to Pebbles without the, the grapple. Also, none of those theories explain echoes still. Like you'd feel like echoes were just kind of an, an inefficiency, right? If the if the void worms wanted to to consume what entered the void sea, then why would some of them be able to partially escape in the form of an echo? Or maybe like echoes are the true form of, of ascension, right? And it's like because they managed to escape and kind of. And maybe just because of the ancient's culture, they believe that they're stuck. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense either. The void worms have standards, they do. They don't like the, the artificer. Which is also kind of confusing. Like the it seems like they do value karma, right? Since the artificer can't get max karma when ascending, so the void worm doesn't accept them. So maybe they, they do really care about karma. I might not be able to escape this. I mean, I guess I could go back the way that I came from. Okay, that's probably death. Can they swim very fast? Not really. I'm dead. The less, the less egotistical you are, the better you taste. <laughs> Probably just go back the way that I came from. Yeah, the, the void runs are really picky about who's who they consume. I mean, downpour definitely like villainizes ascension a lot more than base game. 
like vanilla it was just like ascension is the is the true ending i've even heard some people interpret the game as like the game sucks and is like super difficult well, sucks as in it's like unfair and, like super difficult oh great because it wants you to to like feel like the ancients where you want to ascend because you don't want to be in the the normal world anymore that's one interpretation i've heard that uh the game is so difficult to make you really feel like you want to escape it. It's justifying the, the ascension ending, but then downpour is like, hey, no, let's not do that. I can't get out of here. I might just, this, this, uh, might be a bit bad. I don't have a way to deal with the spider. Yo, gate, help me out. Okay, that's that was not really bad at all. That's a that's a that's a thing. Brother long way. So grab down to that leap lizard. Maybe I can go up this way. I mean, I, I know of a way to get out of this region. I guess I'm just kind of blindly exploring around. I mean, I feel like Void Worms are still ambiguous. It's kind of hard to tell what happens in the Saints ending. Like, a lot of people are kind of, like, firm in their belief of some specific thing that the, the Void Worm wanted to do. Like, oh, the, the, the Void Worm was what, like, sent the, the Saint back in time. Or maybe not back in time, but back into, like, the repeating cycle. Oh, but this might work. This route. Like, oh, because the saint attacked the void worm, the void worm is hitting them back by sending them into the cycle, right? But also, it could just be the nature of the saint. The way the saint is and how they are, like, supposed to ascend things. Bringing them back, it could be some kind of, like, desire. So I've mentioned the idea of, like, a desire to ascend other creatures is what's causing the, the saints return. There's like there's a decent possibility that the the void worm isn't malicious at all. And what exactly happened to them when they got ascended by the saint? Also you would think that if the void worm was the one that was like sending the saint back into the cycle, then why would the saint continue to try to ascend the void worm? So maybe the, the saint is doing it on purpose? Kind of tricking the, the void room and sending, into sending it back so that it can feel its desi desire to ascend things. It's, it's still, I still, I still, <clears throat> it still feels pretty unclear. Maybe the saint doesn't remember. I mean, they are still just the slug cat. Oh, yeah, I can't go this way. Wait, I think I can get to Pebbles. Hey guys, please don't attack me. Can't make it up here. I gave you a spear. Which would be cool. Uh, it's cold 
out of here. I can actually just open popcorn plants like normal. I'm getting cold very fast. Honestly, I'm just a little disappointed that the downpour doesn't really end the story. It's like it's still very ambiguous what exactly happened. You could say that the, the story ends with the the saint being in a being in a never-ending cycle and nothing ever happens after that. But like base game gave us some questions to think about. Like what was the what was the triple affirmative all about? What exactly happens to these iterators in the future? And I guess that that's answered downpour. Uh like, I don't I don't know if I died to fall damage or to the cold. But uh Downpour doesn't answer those questions. Oh, I have to do this whole thing again. And downpour just kind of gives a whole bunch of new questions. And, well, at least we get to see what happens in the future, right? I think that's the best part of downpour. Just being able to see how the world evolves over time. Seeing the, the state of the iterators as the same, and how the the reasons have changed. Please don't make your way over here. Well, I told you not to. You guys are talking a lot. Thing I don't really like, you can't get into a standing state next to poles because you just end up grabbing the pole instead. So if you want to make it a, like a tall jump next to a pole, it's a bit difficult. There's no winning. That's honestly just kind of rain roll or downpour summed up. There, there isn't a good ending, except for Gourmand. But like, there, there is no good ending for the iterators. They just kind of. Um, keep falling into worse and worse states of decay and even even moon kind of can't last forever and the slug cats honestly like they're, they're not gonna be any better as far as we know the like all the like main slug cat families are are gone by this point unless they're able to adapt to the cold because we don't see any slug pups Oh, really? That spear missed? Oh, that actually killed it. Experience for becoming house cats. 
You know, we never get to see what happens to the other iterators at this point in time. Like, the most we could see is that as the, at the end of the Saint, the other iterators have collapsed. Which I think tells us that enough time has passed so that it's not just like, Pebbles isn't just the rare case of that one iterator that got the rot, and Moon the rare case of an iterator that was, that like, uh, didn't have access to water because of the actions of another iterator. Pebbles and Moon aren't like rare cases, like all the iterators are also going through something, either just like over time their facilities have kind of like just been worn down. They can't last forever, of course. But technically, you know, Spear Master does make it back to Seven Red Seven, right? Like we never get to see what happens over there. I think um, if this game ever needs even more expansions, I think a great option would be to see a continuation of the Spear Masters and Rivulet's story, or a, or like a because we know that the the Rivulet kind of just does whatever. <laughs> They've probably done some other stuff with involving iterators in the past, so if we get to see. Just kind of a whole different campaign. You know, maybe um, Rivulet has interacted with the Seven Red, Set, Seven Red Suns before, so there could be an expansion that was kind of the region that connects Seven Red Suns and the main world. And we would get to traverse that as Rivulet and Spearmaster. Although that's kind of asking for a lot. I mean, that's something that um, mod creators can do. Whoa. Gosh, that was a high jump. So uh, any mod developers out there, if you want to make some cool regions that fit in with the game's lore, make the regions that connect the, the iterators. And we get to, so we get to go between them as the Spear Master. Although, I don't know if... <laughs> forgot about that. I don't know if I want to play Spear Master again, as long as you don't have to carry any pearls, I'd be, I'd be fine with it. Maybe Hunter 2? Yeah, for no significant harassment. Honestly, before Downpour came out, I thought that one of the new campaigns would at least go to another iterator. In one of the kind of old, like, um, Slug cat previews. Hold up. I'll see you later. I'm I'm not even green. Yeah, there's nothing different about this. I can't even help him. Oh, can I even? Oh, yeah, of course I can. Actually, hold up. I would really like a pearl. Unless I already have one. I do. I could have been giving pearls to the scavengers this whole time. To think that we'd see one of the new iterators? Yeah, I mean, we did get a new iterator, technically. Because we got to see Moon, right? And another, a whole new iterator would be kind of boring, considering you've already seen. I mean, I don't imagine the interior of an of another iterator would be that much different. Because Moon, it's mostly the same. Like the most interesting thing about Moon's structure is the like the exterior. I think that's a pretty cool area, especially if you aren't carrying the pearl. <laughs> Let's, let's just get out of here. You know, I've done everything. Oh, rip that scavenger. I missed anyway. Oh, that's too much. 
that anyway. But yeah, the most interesting thing about Moon is that you get to, to talk to Moon before, before she collapsed, right? But the, going through the actual structure, it's kind of boring, honestly. Like, yeah, we've, we've been through zero G areas before and they're not the most fun to navigate. And so a whole new iterator that was just like more of that, it wouldn't be very interesting. But I think they, they could have definitely done it like the, the wall entrance to Pebbles. Instead of a full like iterator region, it would just be a, a region like the wall, which could be completely different than the, the wall that we're already familiar with. And then like the, the access shaft to the iterator, but then we just wouldn't continue from there. Yeah, Moon is like one of the older designs and Pebbles is one of the newer designs. Considering the differences between the where the rare faction cells are, you know, you can see that Moon is very like essentially designed around the, the, the rare faction cell. Which I don't really understand because apparently the, the rare faction cell is supposed to be like a back, backup source of power. So I don't know why it's like so important considering the, the, the entire heart subregion. Hello? Um, I will stay in here. Well, uh, yes, I will. And for, for Pebbles, he has the, like, the, the, the energy rail, whatever it's called. Might be purple. Yeah, based on the colors of the, the overseers. Although the colors of the overseers don't really match up with the, the actual iterators themselves. Although some of the, the, the lights and stuff around the structure are the same color. Well, no, I think they're actually flipped too, right? Some of the, the lights around the moon are blue, while she has yellow iter or overseers. I think I'm gonna try to get to. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably end the stream somewhat soon. I should also probably check um, Wanderer Progress. Maybe I should try to avoid hurting things with the. The saints. Oh, that's just the wrong way. I'll try to go for the saints and the monk, I guess, but I haven't really been. Well, I guess I have the, like, the demon the spiders here. Now. possibly get the longer. Why is that? Is there a reason that the, like, the saint can access, but I wouldn't be able to? Ooh, Rubicon? Is Rubicon one of them? Well, I mean, even if even if that's the case, I, I'm just not going to count it. Even if I'm missing one hit for Rubicon, I'll look like who cares? I still have like every other region in that case. Oh, this isn't in the right way. Also, I've yet to find a single lantern this whole time.
Even from the scavenger merchants. Nice movement. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense um, for some red superstructure to count. It's like really out of the way. Hold on, I want to test something. Here. I think I actually do move faster, maybe, if I enter in a crouch state, but then it's the last one. Yeah, we, we don't really know much about the ages of each of the iterators, other than the moon is older than most of them, probably, and Pebbles is younger than most of them, probably. You gotta think that like it took a long time to create the iterators right and we know that there's thousands of them at least <laughs> so th there's kind of a lot that could have happened just after the, the first few iterators were constructed like i imagine the ancients were like making a really big deal about creating the first iterator because they thought that it would solve all their problems and then they realized oh like this is this doesn't really help at all like maybe we can like answer a few other like minor questions we have, but this this great problem that we have is not really doing anything for us. So then they made another iterator, and then another one, and another. I mean, you would think after like the first like a hundred didn't do anything, didn't help you out at all. Maybe this part, this great problem, is a lot harder than you think it is. But they they can admit, continue to make more iterators. Oh wait, hold up. Can I, can I even get up here? I guess I can. There's COG. And I jumped very high. Oh, I can't even understand you. <laughs> That's kind of weird. We never get to not be able to talk to Moon in this state. I mean, the moment the ancients realized that the iterators weren't helping them, they probably went and did their whole global attention thing. Like after creating a thousand of these, or a thousand or more of these supercomputers, and they don't give you a, a solution to the one problem that you designed them for, they all just gave up. And like, well, we know one way to ascend. Just make sure to like eat some gravel or something. Can I make it up here? Yes. Stay crouched here. This will move a lot faster. And I still have to just activate the echo. There's a, a shelter right here, though. might not have even been possible if it was rain if it was like a blizzard right now. So that's how I usually end up seeing this area. And I don't even have a lantern. 
but this is all just to activate the sector. A little bit risky. I mean, a lot bit risky. But I don't, I'm not going to go for the other one. Spear Master can't mean be able to see Moon City. Yeah, I think that bitter area is supposed to be Moon City. Similar to, to Metropolis, but it really doesn't feel like it. I mean, maybe it's just in the collapse, like every single structure like immediately fell apart. Maybe they put a lot more care into making sure that the iterator's superstructure was like structurally sound before the before the city on top. And so, like in the collapse, the superstructure maintained like mostly in one piece, but all the all the the whole city kind of fell apart. Most hated area for Saint has to be farm raids. I like that farm that the Saint is able to grapple onto the deer, so you don't really need to use spore puffs, which tends to break their AI. And also, you can there's like there's yeeks, so you can just use the yeeks to cross the wormcrest. So I actually like I like farm raids a lot more as the the Saint than for the other campaigns. Also, no echo effects. Also, hello over on Twitch. I see you guys, as in like one person. <laughs> Is there no echo here? Did I not activate? Look. Oh yeah, that that's the problem. If you don't have a, a lantern and you try to just ride some of the, like the longer worm grass sections, yeah, that can be rough. Especially since you might go to farm raise immediately at the start of the campaign, so you're not exactly familiar with how the cold works or the the cycles. Regrets <laughs> of. Uh, through subterranean, yeah, that's a. It's nice that the sand can do that, since you can actually grapple all the way, all the way up there. You don't even have to to go through farm raids if you want that echo. Yeah, I usually don't like farm raids though. But honestly, um, as the, the Rivulet and the, the Saint, which are the characters I've probably played the most of, it's not too bad. Because the, the Rivulet has an alternate route through farm rays, through the, the path like that's underwater that only Rivulet can make it through. Or I suppose the others like that if you have like a... If you have a bubble weed and the saint has the yeeks so it's not too bad but i usually try to avoid farm raids as the other as the other select traps so i guess i can't get this echo that's kind of weird um hmm I think I'll stay in the shelter again. Yeah, I tried to take more bubble fruit down. Please don't. Thank you. Jellyfish. Yeah, awesome. This just went flying. You want to grab this other one that went this way. 
private it is now. Yeah, I tried to throw a rock and then zero gravity. Low, low gravity, so they all just kind of went back down. I guess I'll stay in shelter again and see if the echo shows up. And if not, I guess I'll just have to get the echo in. Summer is super short. No, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I already have enough karma. Whoa. Don't need to go that far. Also, hold up. The, the creator of this mod mentioned that they wanted to add new dialogue the iterators, but that would suggest that you get the mark at some point. Oh yeah, I was gonna stand in the shelter. Where would you get the mark from? Moo doesn't seem like they're able to give it to you, and Pebbles isn't, like, even in, like, the, the Rivulet's time, Pebbles isn't able to give the mark. Unless maybe they're able to, and they just didn't bother because the, the Rivulet already has the mark. So how how would they how would they communicate? I mean I guess maybe they could just start with the with the mark. Although if they were able to start with the mark in the final version of this mod, then why wouldn't they already be able to? So uh, is the echo still not here? They don't, they don't need to have the mark, but I feel like that kind of doesn't really make sense. The already being able to understand the their language, it feels like a, a very unique thing to the saint. Okay, well there's still no echo particles and they usually reach down this far, so I guess I just can't get this one. Think about overseer pictures, that's how they communicate with you. I guess I do need another pearl. No, I don't. Maybe I should go through. Whoa. Maybe real fast there. Also, I find that interesting. No one really talks about how the saint is able to... Thank you for that. The saints can just understand the ancients language. Like, they, they just can't. And then no one, no one, no one notices. I, I could be suggesting something. Maybe that the saint is definitely a creation by an iterator, so they were just like given the mark by default. She got the mod to make Saint violent just so that they could open popcorn plants. There's already a way they can open popcorn plants. But no, I, I get that. Oh, I have to deal with both of these things now. I want to know how to avoid the jellyfish. Do that. Just swim under them. They probably won't grab onto you. My <laughs> patient. Would grenades open? I don't know if grenades open popcorn. I don't think they do. Let's head over to garbage waste. I'll be able to get to industrial, then industrial, then outskirts, then I guess. Hold up, I do need the Sky Islands Echo. I mean, if I can't get the the, the Echo next to Moon, then I don't think I can get. I don't think I can get the. 
buy from the the pilgrim for getting all the echoes. Why do the big jellyfish drop slime mold? Honestly, I I don't really like that they do that. Like they already drop an uh, an item that looks like slime mold that's just recolored. But you can't eat that. They drop that and and slime mold. It feels like I don't know, kind of just lazy. They could have like really easily added another food that's just very similar to slime mold, but that's unique to the jellyfish. But no, they're just they're just slime mold, and it doesn't really make sense because slime mold seem like very much their own thing. For some reason, the big jellyfish just al also are made up of slime mold. Well, ascended state can already ascend. Bat flies. Yeah, the, the the white stuff that the the jellyfish dropped that should be out of. It looks pretty much the same as slime mold. It's just there for like the visuals. I don't like this guy. Please don't. Okay. You gotta go this way. And this is usually the path to. You know what, it's not bother with another girl. So five of them are edible. I don't think they are. Creature. Although, I don't know. I guess you could test that as Gourmand. Because they can eat, they can eat creatures and they can kill a Leviathan with a Singularity Bomb. If someone wants to test that. Hold up, hold up. That's important. I actually do want to go this way. Still can't crawl up slopes quickly. I just it actually just removes the bat fly. It doesn't just kill them. They're just gone. Huh. Yellows are edibles, yeah. Actually, I think I. Yeah, yeah, as long as you have like an explosive speed, you can kill them. There's any slug like that. And I, I guess there's not really reason that they shouldn't be edible. Please don't. Can I really not right reach that hole? Okay. Okay, I'm kind of dead. Oh, no, I don't, I maybe could have made it if I hit them with more of them with a spear. I kind of considered going back to try to kill the Aquapede. Because they actually aren't that hard to kill. This was fun, I guess. But the, the leash is for the real threat there. Run. Yeah, just run in the water.
That's already enough food. I do still need to tame a lizard at some point. I mean, I've spent most of my time just getting the echoes. There's still a lot of other passages to go for. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not eating any creatures right now. I'm going for a monk. Maybe the saint, too? I guess I should consider that if I'm... I shouldn't have tried to kill the aquapede. So I'll, I'll go for saint. shelter here. Lizards. Right, that's 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 what we all call lizards, right? Zonker doodles. But I imagine that if I did want to feed any of them it would be pretty easy to tame them. It's just that they're like passive right now. Jellyfish. You wish for orange scissors? Oh, someone had a funny name for that strawberry lizards. Oh, okay, I guess we're just gonna die. Maybe I should have taken that shelter. the other route. Honestly, I've really come to dislike DLLs. Mostly because of Rivulet speedruns. There's a handful of DLLs that are at random locations, and some of those random locations might just make it, like, impossible to finish the run. Not impossible, like, you can always just wait for them to move out of the way, but sometimes that means waiting for, like, up to, like, a minute. That really kills the run. Like most creatures, you can at least do something about it, like throw, throw a rock or something. But the LLs like to just cover an entire, an entire passage and you just can't pass them. And making any amount of noise just alerts them to your presence so they don't leave you. Although that kind of feels like more of a campaign thing than a, than a creature thing. I can't go up there. Like, the LLs aren't awful to deal with as the other slow cats. I think they're really effective as, like, lore and... And also, like, in terms of, like, kind of making the game more stealthy. In areas like the, the leg, for example, you're trying to... It feels more like a stealth section where you can't hurt these creatures at all. Just try to pass them without making any noise. 
I think that they worked pretty well in that turn. So I can't say that I really did like that creature specifically. It's just how they they're placed in in one particular area. Honestly, I kind of dislike Mars Lizards. Like, I, I like Mars Lizards on their own, just as, as their own creature. And considering that their, their, like, team behavior kind of is cool. But they feel really overused. Speaking of overused, here they are in Shoreline, where they, there aren't Mars Lizards in Shoreline for any other campaign. Maybe for a Revisit, but... Why are there Mars Lizards here? The, like, closest Mars Lizards to this region are... In what, like, Underhang? How did they get here? It doesn't really make sense that they're literally, they're literally covering the entire map as the Saints and Rivulet. They just feel way too common for what should be like a very unique and special kind of uh, lizard variant. Suddenly becomes like so incredibly common that it's like they, they don't really feel that special anymore. We're used in horrible science. I kind of agree with that too. In some areas with hunter spawns, there's just so many slime lizards that there's like nothing you can do to get past them easily. And they they've also killed me a whole lot in rivulet speedruns, so but that's not just exclusive to rivulet. So honestly it's probably sand lizards, but it's hard to say hard to dislike them because they have like really interesting behavior and movement. Like they have some of the most unique movements out of like any creature in any game. The way they propel themselves around. But that is that becomes like, a bad thing when you're trying to avoid them, and especially when there's like five of them in a single room, it's kind of awful in situations like that. So I think if, if those, those lizards are like not fun to deal with, but it's not too bad because like they're they're interesting on their own. I, I don't know, but I, I understand the, that that the other like older lizards would like die off in in a very like new environment in the cold and stuff that they can't adapt to. But I feel like it, it makes sense for just a different kind of a lizard variant to show up that specifically adapted to the cold and not just like one that happens to be like adapted if you kind of stretch kind of stretch it. spiders I guess spiders are also kind of overused I feel like uh, that's kind of just a problem with downpour there's just not too many unique creatures I mean obviously like developing creatures with like with unique AI and models is like that's gonna take some time but I think it would have really been worth it considering there's not really that many unique creatures in downpour like the like geeks Geeks are pretty cool. It's, I mean, most of the new creatures are just variants of other creatures that we're familiar with. Like, new types of lizards, a new type of vulture, a new type of spider, you know? We know those creatures, it's not that interesting. Geeks are, like, completely unique, and they're... You can use them to move around, they're kind of like spaghettis. That's cool, but, like, what else is there? Like, stowaways are so rare that some people have never seen them after playing every single campaign. Uh, inspectors are cool, I guess, but you only see them in CRG areas, which aren't that fun to navigate. And they don't really do anything, unless you, like, eat neurons, so you can just kind of ignore them. Like, like what other creatures are there that are unique? Downboard ditches the... the diegetic ecosystem to see what would kill the player. Uh, that too, sometimes. You know, a lot of the variants are just kind of like, what if we made this creature more difficult? Mirrors, vulture.
It's the single stowaway and you'd be down for it twice. Okay, pretty close to Saint and Chieftain actually. Giant jellyfish. Well they do, they don't do anything. They just sit there, right? And if you run into them you'll die. They kind of try to grab you but fail every single time. I think it would have been great if jellyfish were the giant jellyfish were like half the size, but they moved around a lot more dynamically. That'd be great to see an actual jellyfish creature instead of the like the two jellyfish in the game literally just sit there and do nothing. And I guess there's a few in summer super super structure that move up and down. Like wow, how how interesting. What a what a cool and dynamic creature that's a part of the ecosystem. You know those like some areas. Sometimes you see videos of like thousands of jellyfish that are just kind of like meandering around, maybe in the ocean. Those are those are great. Those are very interesting videos, but you don't see, ever see a situation like that in Rain World. All the jellyfish do are sit there and do nothing. It would be cool if like there was some some areas that are just completely full of jellyfish. Hey, I didn't even hit you twice. Okay. I just, honestly, I just wanted to kill a vulture. Actually, I guess it'd be good for food. Because I'm not going to use the mask. Maybe for, like, scavenger rep. I'd rather not hurt rep with lizards. Hey, I wasn't trying to hit you. Whenever I play Sound of these scavengers in... In sandbox, it's pretty common to see them with singularity bombs. Although I don't think that that like reflects the probability that they show up with one in in game. Although I imagine that it's most likely in Metropolis during nighttime, which I've never seen. Apparently, there's like a ton of elite scavengers then. Also, garbage waste is so much easier without lizards being dangerous. All those orange lizards and maybe like leaf lizards too. I don't know if I've seen a leaf lizard yet. But I always die a whole lot in garbage waste. But it's, this was pretty easy. Not only a threat to you, but themselves. Yeah, the moment they throw a singular, I mean, that happens with normal grenades too. They kill themselves with grenades on accident all the time. Especially if they're in a big group and like all the explosions go off at once. All the explosives. Like, it's, it's really not a good idea to use. I mean, I'm holding on to an explosive right now. Tran lizards? Well, that doesn't really count at all. Someone just took another lizard and increased all the stats a bunch. And it's for the campaign that really isn't part of the game. You want this? That's a fair trade. A pearl for a, a spear for for rep. Spicy red lizards. They're actually kind of weaker. They're so fast and large that they're like kind of struggle to like navigate through tunnels. And they don't have the, the spit or, or a tongue like the red lizards have now. Oh, did I really what did I hit? Oh the the vulture, stupid. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna try to kill this vulture as I'm going for the Saint Passage. That sucks. I have to spend another five cycles not hurting anything. Let's see if we can get all the way through. Okay, I've never been able to jump across these things. See if we can get all the way to, well actually, 
I need to end the stream soon. So, uh, I'll get to outskirts maybe. On it there. Lantern. <laughs> this one here is this is consistent, or did the scavenger just happen to drop it because there's a, a pearl there normally? That's that's nice. I haven't been able to get one of these the whole the whole run. Uh, I want to swap this. Planks. I'm not going to be returning here. The lantern is always there. Okay, so this is actually a good place to check. Probably a um, good place to go right at the start of the of this, this slug cat, since you don't start with the lantern. And you're already an outskirt, so it's a good place. Would have been good to know that. Beforehand. Although the cold wasn't really that big of a problem. Actually, uh, it shouldn't take too long to get through outskirts, so let's see if I can if I can make it all the way to farm areas. That's the wrong direction. Is that a red lizard? It is. Except red lizards are actually not dangerous at all. Hey dude. I don't like that other centipede though. I guess the red lizard prefers that centipede over the flying one. the pole that I was going to grab onto. I do have a karma flower. Alpha red lizards can also electrocute themselves if they pick up a electric spear. But it does it does destroy the spear. That is what they're doing after all. Hello. Spear for you. I think I'm also going to grab the other pearls in this room. And this should be cheap then. It's so funny how he jumps around like that. Yeah, I know I can get through this hole, I just, I just did. Oh, I didn't pick up this pearl. They don't pick it up and I'll stay there. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna return to this area. I wish electric spears were more common. I wish different types of spears were more common in general. I thought that Gourmand would be able to craft new types of spears by like adding stuff. Like if you had a grenade in a spear, you can make an explosive spear. If you had a jellyfish in a spear, or maybe like an overseer eye, something like that. You can make an electric spear. If you had a spore puff, you can make like a, a spore puff spear, which would be effective against centipedes and whatnot. That would be great. But uh, there's no new spears other than the electric one, which are so rare that you're pretty much only ever going to see them as the, the artificer when fighting against elite scavengers. 
Ah, anyway, check our passage progress. I haven't been doing the best job getting like all the passages I could. That's Monk. I already have Chieftain. Chieftain, Monk, Outlaw, and Survivor. So they're making progress towards Wanderer, although I might not be able to complete that. Uh, is that the... What's the... What's this one? The, the, the passage below Chieftain. Does anyone know which one that is? You can see him do it in a cutscene. Yeah, just like attaching something to the end of a sphere. But you can't do it. What the heck? Oh yeah, and then Saint does have the yeah the fire spear. That's the echo one. Okay, for some reason I only have one pip for that, despite all the other echoes that I've seen. So I guess I'm not gonna get that passage. Is it? What else would it be? Oh no, not scholar. Although I do need to get scholar at some point. Pilgrim. Yeah, that's the echo one. Also, one pip left for nomad, so I have to make it all the way to the sky islands in a single cycle. That'll be fun for next time. Anyway. This is, a, this is a very fun character. I recommend playing this for yourself. I think it, like, the weird movement is changed up. Makes makes it a lot more interesting than just taking it in a, basically a, a base slug cat and just adding some kind of ability onto it. Everything about this, like, changes the way that you play the game. Plus, taking place in the Saints campaign makes it feel even more different since, you know, the Saint has the grapple worm and not being able to throw spears, which makes it different so... You're playing a, a different slug cat in a different campaign, so it's like it's a very unique experience. And I will be continuing it next stream. And maybe another stream after that if I don't get all the passages, which I feel like it might be. That might be the case. Anyway. Thanks everyone for watching. See ya.